guys, Anthony here from DIY Auto Tech. We're going to be working with uh, my colleague here, Raj, AC Master Tech. We're going to be doing a brake job on this C230 Mercedes Benz today. First thing we want to do is move the cap from the uh, from the, the brake master cylinder here, just to relieve all the pressure. Sorry, you got it. We're good. Huh? Yeah. yeah. You're doing front and back. I'm seeing yeah. the camera running out of the wheel. Uh, the wheel tool to a pair, okay? Oh, I'm not going to use that. Oh, my God. Damaging the pin. You grab. Pin comes off. One pin. Pull the second pin out. What we're going to do is we're going to get. We're going to pull the sensor out. With just we use a screwdriver. Pull the sensor out like that. Because we're not worried we're replacing the rotor, I tend to squeeze my pads, make sure all the pads are in. And as I squeeze, top pad. Okay, both pads are free. So what I do, as you can see, hardly any pad. For a big car with a sort of speed. Nothing. Pads are horrible. Look at those front pads. Oh my. And you can see the wear indicator sticking out. Let's just show that. There's our wear indicator mark. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it starts touching the rotor and it grounds itself, sending a signal to the computer to tell you that you need new pads. And on this car, that you need new rotors. Yeah. Alright, go ahead. 18 mil to take off the caliper. Alright, so we're getting in the back of the caliper here. We've got to remove the caliper to actually get the rotor off. If we were just replacing pads, we wouldn't be having to do this. It's got blue Loctite on there. tubs or something like that, right? Am I wrong? Am I But this is the stuff different than the liquid. We don't buy the liquid. Alright, so now what we need to do is obviously because we have our rotor um, disassembled or we have our caliper disassembled from the, the brake assembly here, we need to elevate it and we need to hold it in place. So uh, Raj is going to go grab a hanger. We'll probably just hang it on the suspension right here. You never want to let these things hang because you could snag the line back here, your brake lines, and uh, you can cause them to leak. Uh, fatigue, crack, and then if you get cracks, you get air in the system, and then your brakes work worse than they did when you brought them into the shop. So, just something to keep in mind. We just use a cheap hanger. Cut it to size. So what we're going to do is hook it on, or hook it through the wheel. Through here, and we'll just hook it up here. That's cold. You bend it around, so. Uh, that way. Okay, should do. It's good. Okay, so that holds the caliper. We're not putting any strain on the brake pipes or anything like that. Yeah, let's zoom in on that so you can see what's going on. All right, you cheap a little 50 cent hanger is what we're using. Then we're just going to hammer the caliper off. Uh, rotor off, sorry. Yeah, I did
good and proper. People say you can machine them. Personally, I don't like to machine them. A lot of people in Europe don't like to machine them. They just discard them, especially with this sort of car. Yeah, because each one of those holes has a chamfer in it. And then when you machine them, they become flat and then they eat up the brake pads. You can show them a good one here. Huh? Yeah. So we'll show you. As you can see, all these little holes here, all these across here are chamfered. So when your brake pad uh, runs against this, uh, it doesn't get cut up. But when you machine these down a couple thousandths on each side, that hole is now flat and sharp, and it's serrated around the edges. So it's going to start cutting away the material of the, uh, the brake pad. Take off as much rust or any flaky rust you can to get it perfectly smooth if you can. Because uh, you ha you've had water creep around the back. And we're just using uh, Scotch Brite. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Clean it all off nicely. Then what we're just going to do is we're going to give it a quick hit of brake cleaner. This is where I need to change my gloves. Uh, reason B that the rotors, the new rotors come with special film. You do not clean them. So, new gloves, clean gloves. Brand new rotor. You do not want to, like I said. I think there's a sticker on the back now. No? All right. You do not want to take this off with brake cleaner. It actually helps bed the rotor. Here we go. The locating screw with that uh, T30, which is your torque. Nice and tight. Bar caliper is nice and clean as well. <laughs> right, blue Loctite on our caliper bolts. That's what originally came with them. You can see the hint of blue below. Put one there. If you can see the little blue. So we're just going to tap. This will stop anything coming loose. Uh, Cliff, how's the paint coming along? Well, I had a drop ceiling in my office in the garage. Uh -huh. And two walls I added. It's in the corner of the garage. So two walls I built out of metal studs and all that. Yeah. And so I hung a drop ceiling. I used a laser and did the whole thing. But uh -huh. I don't know if the walls ended up moving a little bit or whatever happened. So, I don't know. I don't know what you're like, you, like you slam the door of the office. Well, I don't slam the door. But anyway, if you shut the door hard. And right, now we're just torquing the caliper in, bolts and go like to that. 180 and newton meters, which is uh, our torch yeah. back and it was like for a C230 sport. And it just bugged the hell out of me. So I had. What is it for? 130 foot pounds. Alright, now that the caliper bolts are torqued down, we're back at the brake pads, again using the anti-seize. We're just going to smear it on the metal component, not on the friction. And you know the bottle, that's 
stuff. Almost out. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you for reminding me on that. Too. Yeah. So, so it just slides in like that. Just like the rear, just slides right in. Same thing we're going to do here. I'm just going to put on the edge. Like that. And on the edge here because it slides on the sliders. And the rest. Smear it in. Slides in just like that. And just like the rear, we just punch it. Is. So we're not reusing the old sensors. Let me see if I can. Read. We're going to take the pad out for you. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to put the pet pin in. The pin sensor slides in and just pushes in. So yeah, there's a little preposition slot for it. And it goes all the way in. So make sure it's all the way in. Dots. So oh. the first, what you do is put the first one in, the top in. Oh yeah. Okay. So that goes in like that. That one, and that should lock in like that. And I always put the tap the top one in. Yeah, because it's spring loaded a little bit. Yep. It's all right. Okay. And the second one, pull the pin back out, push. Push the pin and now you put that in flush in the back? Yeah, if you can you can hear it go. Oh at the bottoms? Yeah, you can hear okay. it. Okay, yeah. Then all you do is bring this down and push. Plug in the connector. That's it. Front brake's done. With a punch and a hammer. First one, pin, I uh, need a small punch. Alright, this is for the rear brake assembly. As you can see, it's a little different than the front assembly. Alright, now we're going to take the rearward view of this. We're taking the pin out again. So we just push. Use the handle. It's a really nice setup though. Some of them are really cool, some of them are really awkward. Mm -hmm. So what you do is push the pin in, and this should. Pin comes out. Do one at a time. Don't be a hero and do both. So use your clip, compress the piston back. And it goes all the way back. Is that, your, is that your BMW watch? Yeah. It's clean. I know. 7,000 for that one. And a scholar. Again, we're just going to butter the bottom section. Butter it up, baby. That's it. Like I get my tortillas. I like to put butter in I butter my beans on my tortillas. Here we go. I had to bring the a Mexican element into this. You just love your food references, yeah. don't you? It's more like a tostada. <laughs> tostada, okay, tostada. <laughs> My Mexican friend pronounced it wrong. It's actually toastada, not tostada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, first one in. Pin's been clean. Locate the pin. Push. That's in. So, next bit. I've got the clip. I've got the clip. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while. So we just push the piston back again. Careful, yeah. careful, she's delicate. She's not delicate. <laughs> Pad again, not much left on it. Speed racers. Yeah. Right, butter it again. Butter it up like an English muffin. 
Uh, right, butter, not butter. Butter, butter. butter. is butter. 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 It's butter. It's actually butter. Okay. <laughs> Again, friction side inside. And it slips in just like that. And we're looking for the clip. There you go. Get the clip. And then clip. If only all rear brakes were this easy. And this one just yeah. here. And a little bit on the top. Detail American pronunciation. <laughs> he hasn't gotten it now. He never will. We push this in like so. And he, in return, tries to teach us something too. You mean the proper pronunciation? Oh, yes. English language? English language, yes. Not all the way. 20 minutes it used to take me to lift the car up, push yeah. it in. But you still get paid 1.8. Yeah, but then you get the nice rusty Mercedes from the East Coast. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it takes you two and a half. See it? Yeah, it's, it started through, but it's not. Well, no, it's positioned here. Okay, it's done. It's done? The rear one's off. It's not actually glue it up No, no. I mentioned Lowe's and mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> Same time as uh, you'd never be able to do it. It's good to work out though. Okay, parking brake on is it? Is, is. Yeah. Blue is nice at the right, the top level, so I'm good with that. Tighten the cap. And our last step is to torque the wheels down to 97 foot pounds. In the thaw pan. One day you're just gonna see five lug nut torque wrenches just all at once. <laughs> yep. A little geared. That'd be cool. Yeah, just Yep, that'd be real nice. Problem, you know, like the NASCAR if ones. You had a, if you had a standardized uh, bolt location, you're right. Then you Everything's torqued up, and you put the master cylinder cap back on. Just put your little plastic splash guard back on as well, and then you're good to go. Go take the vehicle out for a, uh, a road test, pump the brakes before you start going, and uh, just do a couple, couple small stops to heat everything up, get everything settled. 
as you can see that silver lining uh, plate material has uh, been worn off it's uh, it's just a break-in procedure that they use now and then the rest of the rotor which is coated in it um, it's gonna help prevent rusting so that's the reason why they use it and that's the reason why we uh, why we wear new gloves when putting on new rotors and don't use the brake clean on it it's been another video from Anthony at DIY Auto Tech uh, subscribe click on the advertisers please we really appreciate it we'll see you next time